Hey everyone, this is David. Welcome back behind the velvet rope. Let's just get right into it today because we are joined by the one, the only Rachel Riley. Hi, thanks for having me. Thank you for that introduction. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, what is going on? How are you? I mean, where do we even begin today, right? right. I know. I I was saying like off camera, I was like, we just had the reunion air this morning so the traders reunion so i feel like gosh i guess that's as good as a place that any to start right <laughs> i mean have you recovered first of all this tv show was so i'm not just saying this there's lots of shows that i watch i'm really at the point where i only watch tv to do this job but then yeah. there are shows where i'm just like oh my god i love this i loved this show me too it was so good and you know being on a, like I've been on a ton of competition shows and being on the traders was such a different experience because it was, I don't know, like I felt like I was immersed in it. Like it didn't feel as much of a competition show as it did like this crazy scripted experience. Like Alan just does that to this show, right? Like he just, the way that he hosts it, I think just made it so fun. He was just, I'm like, if they ever were considering a different host, like, thank God that host did not get the yeah. job. Right. It, it, he did such a fun, like, fantastic job. Well, listen, you had in typical Rachel Riley fashion, you had one of the more, you know, dramatic and contentious <laughs> eliminations of the season. Yeah. You know, they all thought you were lying, but you really weren't. I mean, is that a compliment to you? I mean, is that or is that just like you can do no right in people's eyes? I swear, like, for some reason, when I go on these shows, I rub people a certain way. Like, as we see in every show I'm on. I don't know what it is about my personality, but I think it's because I'm so competitive that I think that people are consistently, they're like, oh God, she's like this, whatever she is, you know, like whatever they think about me, they have this idea, they, they never lose it. So in my banishment, when I was trying to convince people like, no, I'm a faithful, like, listen to me. They didn't want to listen because they already had this idea in their heads of who I was. And I think I, I just like talked to my husband about this. Like he's, you know, my unpaid therapist. <laughs> and well, I'm that's like, good. Listen, what, what do I do? And he's just like, I really think because I go in there guns blazing and I am that like try hard, right? Like I do, like, I'm like, I'm going to win every competition. I'm going to do the best job I can. So I think because of that, I think people just get this idea. They don't want to listen to me. Like I, nobody wanted to listen to me about Cody until it was like, so obvious. I, I would had him pegged week one as a trader and nobody would listen to me until it was like super, super obvious. Do you find it harder because you have been on so many reality shows just that you now come in with like this or that? We all saw Big Brother, guys. That's Rachel. And we all know all about her. I think so. I think when I come in on all these different reality shows, people think I'm going to act the same way I as I have on all the other shows. But consistently, I'm loyal. I'm good at competitions. And I have alliances that I like stick with. So I feel like I don't know where they're getting like their misinformation from the fake news. But honestly, it's like, damn, if they watched me on all these shows, I'm literally the most loyal, competitive person to have on your side. Well, you knew Sari prior, you know, she was in the yeah. CBS family with you. You were at Snake in the Grass with her. You know, she said that, you know, your elimination for her was, you know, particularly hard, you know, based on the history you guys had. And, you know, she had to do what she had to do. But really, it, it's the one she had a really tough time with. I mean, do you believe this about Sari? Oh, no, absolutely not. I feel like I love Sari so much. Listen, she played that game. She played us all. I really feel like it was an honor to play with Sari because she played that game. Like she did such an amazing job as that trader. So no, I don't believe for a second that I was her hardest banishment. I don't believe for a second it was, I mean, I'm sure it was hard for her to turn on Andy and Quentin in the end, but I don't believe it was like that passes when you win that 250. Like, come on. You know, I mean, I've played these games. I know how it is. Like the second you're, like almost gonna win and you have to screw someone over you're like oh it's so hard and then like as soon as you win you're it's done like she won the money she won the game you know so 
I mean, good for her. She played it. Are you guys in a good place now? Like it's all water under the bridge. You understand as a gamer. No, as a gamer, I respect everything Suri did. Like she had to, I knew the second I knew Suri was a traitor was when she turned on me because if she was not a traitor, she would, that's not Suri's game. Like she doesn't turn on her people. So I don't think she would ever turn on me if she was a faithful. So I knew and Stephanie knew, actually, Stephanie and I talk about it all the time. Stephanie was like, that cemented it for me. Do you think that says something about Survivor? You know, look, it's the granddaddy of the competitions. Yeah. It was the first. I mean, one could argue with what they go through. You know, it really, some could argue it really is the hardest. Like, yeah. do you think there's like a leg up, like Saria had a leg up, or that Survivor players have a leg up when you guys are all mashed together? I hate playing against survivor players because they're so good they're just so good at strategy big brother prepares us for strategy but i will say survivor people they are good i don't know if it's the casting and the people that are drawn to do a survivor but they are good at competition shows so this and the strategy behind it everyone that i know from survivor are really great strategically do you think it's harder than Big Brother just in terms of like the element, you know, because they have the elements yeah. or no, Big Brother's kind of a, mo- you know, I'm not, listen, I'm not taking anything away yeah. from Big Brother, <laughs> trust me. But like, I I'm just know. curious I if think, you think it's harder. Listen, I think Jeff needs to put me on Survivor so I can have an educated conversation about this. <laughs> like, I, I feel like it could be, but I've heard Big Brother from people saying Big Brother is a little bit harder. So I think, you know, I, I'd like to give it a shot and see <laughs> Have you ever, I'm mean, listening, you were on The Amazing Race, Snake in yeah. the Grass, you've done everything, Celebrity Fear Factor, like, have you ever approached Jeff Probst? Or, I mean, you're in the CBS family. Right? No, I know, I never have. I always tell them I want to do it. I always, like, put myself out there, but no, I've never, like, actually t- talked to them about it. Let's just put that out there in the world. Let's do it. Well, look, I mean, you know, we have a lot of Bravo fans listening. You know, one person you didn't exactly see eye to eye to was Kate Chastain. You know, you seem to rub her the wrong way. Like, what is it about you that just rubbed Kate the wrong way? Because Kate, people say that we're so similar. And there are a lot of similarities with Kate and I. Like, right, we're both big personalities. We're both super, like, we kind of want to run the show. But, like, people don't give us the opportunity to run the show. So I think there are similarities, but when it comes down to it, she's just so different than I am. And I am just so different than she is. And I saw her doing these weird things on the show that just totally said to me, like, she's a traitor. She's a traitor. Like the note, she was like, you know, throwing people under the bus. She's yelling out my name in the middle of the castle. Like, Rachel's a traitor. I'm like, what am I supposed to do? (laughs) So of course I... I understand where that animosity between the two of us comes from. 